live from Morgan State University in Baltimore. It's the All-American Presidential Forums on PBS, moderated by Tavis Smiley. Tonight's forum features Republican candidates seeking to become their party's presidential nominee. Please welcome the host of the Tom Joyner Morning Show, Tom Joyner. Good evening, I'm Tom Joyner, and I'd like to welcome you to the 2007 Republican All-American Presidential Forum at historically black Morgan State University. This event is brought to you by PBS and my dear friend and colleague, Tavis Smiley. I'm excited to be here. But I admit I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone. I kind of feel like Dan Rather at CBS Premier Week. <laughs> but we're all here for a very positive reason, and I salute each of you for participating in this evening's event, including all of you here in the audience. We may not agree on all the issues, but we do agree on the importance of an evening like this and you demonstrate that sentiment with your presence. And to the esteemed candidates, whether you're pro-life or pro-choice, for the war in Iraq or against it, for Kanye West or 50 cents, <laughs> it's your turn to share your message with an audience that stretched further than it's ever been stretched before. And that's a good thing. Is Dr. Richardson in the house? Dr. Earl Richardson, president of Morgan State University. Please stand, sir. And let me take a moment right here and now to say hello to those of you viewing from home. Mayor Rudy Giuliani, <laughs> Senator John McCain, Governor Mitt Romney, and Senator Fred Thompson. Yeah, you know, I had to call them out. Also, while I'm doing shout outs to those who might be viewing at home, a special shout out this, this evening to Michael Bell and his family in Gina, Louisiana. <laughs> Michael Bell is out of jail and at home. After 10 months in jail for what amounted to a high school brawl, all started because Black kids couldn't sit under a white-only tree in Gina, Louisiana. The Tom Joyner Morning Show has more than 8 million African-American listeners, and there's a perception out there that the Republican Party holds only the interests of the majority population. And that's a perception many Republicans say is unfounded. In fact, there's a large audience of black Republicans here tonight that will swear that this is not true. Well, this evening, this evening is a rare opportunity for Republican candidates to address the concerns, the interests, and the issues of people of color. And I can only assume that Republican candidates who hope to become the president of all the people are here tonight. <laughs> Fifty years ago, in Little Rock, Arkansas, the glare of hatred and racism shone on what became the Little Rock Nine. Fifty years later, that ugly light shines just as bright in Gina, Louisiana. We've got a lot of work to do, and it's going to take a special kind of unity, tolerance, and understanding to get it done. But nothing will be accomplished until we open our eyes to what still divides us in the first place. Pretending that racism does not exist only assures us that we'll be revisiting the same issues another 50 years from now, another five months from now, maybe another five minutes from now. This evening is a step in the right direction, and I'm proud to be a part of it. So let's loosen up, everybody. You don't have to wave your arms in the air, but at least unfold them. <laughs> and since I called out the candidates who choose not to join us here tonight, let's give it up for those who are here. And now, 
Please welcome my friend and moderator of the All-American Presidential Forum, Tavis Smiley. To my dear and abiding friend, Tom Joyner, first of all, thank you. Let me commence tonight by thanking Morgan State University and Dr. Richardson for hosting us and my network home, PBS, for broadcasting this All-American Presidential Forum. We live now in the most multicultural, multiracial, and multi-ethnic America ever. Public broadcasting then, I think, at its best, celebrates that reality. It is our hope tonight that as you watch this All-American Presidential Forum on PBS or listen on Public Radio International, you'll come to appreciate that as Americans, we all want the same thing, to live in a nation as good as its promise. And so we are here tonight because of The Covenant with Black America, a book that details the most pressing issues of concern to black America and what everyday black people can do to create change. Princeton professor Dr. Cornell West offers us in that book, The Covenant, a powerful formulation on leadership. Says Dr. West, you can't lead the people if you don't love the people. And you can't save the people if you don't serve the people. And so tonight we ask of these Republican candidates, what's the depth of your love for everyday people? And what will be the quality of your service to them? And speaking of love and service, earlier this week, I was in Little Rock, Arkansas to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the integration of Central High School following the historic Brown versus Board of Education decision. And tonight we are honored to have with us two authentic American heroes. Please welcome two of the Little Rock Nine, Dr. Terrence Roberts and Jefferson Thomas. Thank you both for being here. It is our honor. We are blessed to have you in this house this evening. Finally, some of the campaigns who declined our invitation to join us tonight have suggested publicly that this audience would be hostile and unreceptive. Since we're live on PBS right now, I can't tell you what I really think of these kinds of comments. But that said, when we meet the six candidates who are here tonight, I know you'll join me in showing them your utmost respect. Fortunately, there are those in the Republican Party who do understand the importance of reaching out to people of color. I am grateful to former RNC Chairman Ken Melman, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, former Congressman Jack Kemp, and former Maryland Lieutenant Governor Michael Steele, all of whom have lent their support over the last year to this event. Indeed, last week, President Bush was asked about those GOP candidates not attending tonight and responded by underscoring the importance of reaching out to communities of color. We believe that when we make communities of color better, we make our country better. And so, and so enough said about the no-shows. Here now to introduce the candidates who are here. Please welcome former Maryland Lieutenant Governor and current Chairman of GOPAC, Michael Steele. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. The value of participation in the, in the public life of your community is immeasurable. Each of us has a duty to be engaged in the public debate of ideas. And that's what draws us here this evening. Good evening and welcome to the campus of Morgan State University for this American Presidential Forum on PBS. As we gather this evening, we do so in the shadow of the nine black students who entered Little Rock High School 50 years ago under the watchful protection of Republican President Dwight Eisenhower, who made clear to a wary nation 
that segregation was not compatible with the ideals of America. Together, the Little Rock Nine and President Eisenhower changed the course of a nation. But since that time, the Republican Party and the black community have stood at arm's length from each other. Republicans assuming a blacks will never vote for us mentality, and blacks ignoring real solutions to very serious problems facing their families and communities solely because those solutions have a Republican label. Very often, both have missed genuine opportunities to communicate and reach out to each other. But not tonight. Tonight, African Americans and Republicans take hold of their political destinies and come together in a renewed spirit as we welcome the Republican candidates for president. Once again, we have an opportunity to change the course of a nation. So I am proud to introduce to you former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, <laughs> Texas Congressman Ron Paul, Kansas Senator Sam Brownback, Colorado Congressman Tom Tancredo, California Congressman Duncan Hunter, and former Ambassador Alan Keyes. Nice to see you.